Let's talk to Clem Chambers from Investors Hub. Very good morning to you, Clem. Good morning, Nick. Bitcoin. I looked at my Financial Times when I was in Wall Street last week, and wowee, it's on the move. Why? Why? Well, that's a very good question. Um, not many people have many good theories about it. Personally, I think um, there's an element of the Ukrainian election going on because there's a lot of people in power there who are going to get thrown out by this new guy, the comedian. And, you know, if you want to um, go to Germany in a hurry and you're a Ukrainian politician or one of his lackeys, you're going to want to have Bitcoin, aren't you? So I think there's a bit of that going on. There's also the potential that the Chinese might devalue. And obviously the Chinese are big Bitcoin people. So if they think their currency is going to get devalued, they're going to start stashing in Bitcoin. So, you know, you hand down Bitcoin up. So it's one of those two things. The other thing is, I think the, the bear market has just run its course. And if you look at the way that it's been trading over the last few months, it gets in a sideways channel, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter, and then it breaks out. And in the past, it's broken out to the downside, this time it's broken out to the upside. And as I've been writing about over the last few months, don't worry about the direction, um, just worry about following the trend. So after it breaks out, you can jump on it. And you know if it's gonna go up, it's gonna go up a long way. If it's gonna go down, it's gonna go down a long way. But when it breaks out, you jump on that direction. And I think that is playing out for the second time. It broke out to, to um, the upside and now it's gonna go up. And I think it's gonna go 6,000 very quickly. I think it's probably on its way to 10,000. And then when it hits 10,000, that will be the time to question what the long-term future of Bitcoin is, whether it's um, just a sort of aftershock of the original bubble or whether we are going to go to those incredibly elevated values that everybody has been talking about. Well, at least we're talking about 2017. Well, in terms of chart points, I saw 4,200 being a key level and allegedly lots and lots of short positions out there and a lot of short covering. Any views on that? Um, well, I guess there are lots of people that play all sorts of different positions. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not a big um, believer in, in that kind of thing. I think the market finds the right price. So, you know, when it's decided that it needs to go up, it goes up because the price, the, the price is higher. So, you know, overall, uh, in a decent market, and I do think it's a decent market, shorts and long balances, oh, I don't think makes too much of a difference. Um, and I don't think that's the story here. If it was, it would pull back pretty quick. Um, you know, if <sighs> markets think long term, uh, traders think short term, and I think this is a long term move. If you look at the levels, they've been going and, and trending over weeks and months. And, you know, this is the beginning of a new trend. And I think it's going to be um, bullish. And I think it's going to be bullish for quite some time. And I think, you know, the winter is over and now we're in the spring. On that note, Clem, thank you very much indeed. That's Clem Chambers. Thank you, Nick.